So we're now going to learn how to use the glazing machine. And the first thing we're going to do is to put the former onto the uh, former holder, which is there on the table. The former is facing the right direction. So for that reason, we mark the nasal end of the uh, former with a letter N. And then we offer it up to the machine. We put it into the, um, the end of the shaft and holding it in place. Clockwise, that's it. It's quite good. You can either use this hand to hold the other end in so it doesn't slide, or you can tighten up that screw and that will keep it from moving. But once you've screwed, you need to screw the um, former very tight because you don't want anything to move around. And uh, once it's as tight as you can get it, yeah, this is, that's better and nice and tight. We then tighten up the little grub screw, which is um, there. And uh, that's just to stop it from rotating. It means you can move the lens in two directions. So that's the former in place. We have the, um, let me just move that around. We have the right lens we're doing first, and we have the end facing towards the front of the machine. Okay, so now we need to put the lens into the machine. So we undo the lens clamp. And we place the lens. Now we look at the, the letter N on the lens, because when we mark up the lenses, we have to um, put a, an N on the lens to make sure that the lens is in the same direction as the former to make sure we, we cut the lens correctly. So we then tighten it up, making sure that the lens is all the way in on the shaft. So that's good. And it needs to be fairly tight, but not too tight that it restricts the movement. So we can then check by rotating the lens with the other arm, and it's still moving OK. So that's fine. Right, okay, just right. So we have the former in. You can see the, the N is on the former. And uh, the, there, should, there is an N on here. Now this is a coated lens we're cutting, so it's not difficult to draw on a, a coated lens. But you might be able to just see the N on there, which represents the nasal aspect. You know, that's the front of the lens that we want, the one nearest the, uh, the nose. So as long as those two ends are facing the same direction, we know that the lens is in the right way. So we're now going to turn the machine on. And uh, we need to, with this machine, unfortunately, we have to just manually climp the hose at the back. You don't have to do that when you turn it on. You can leave it for now. Just That's it. Turn the machine on. So we turn the machine on. OK. Now you clamp it, and using the water pressure, yeah, we have to clamp the pipe because if you don't, you get a shower. So you control the flow with uh, your fingers, and then you you then reduce the amount of flow using that knob until you get the right amount of water, which is what we have now. And then we start to cut the lens. It is possible to cut lenses without putting the, the lid down. Um, so we tend to not use the, uh, water, the water guard because there isn't a lot of water splashing around. So means that we can see a bit better what we're doing. So Vincent is just moving the lens very gently around. And um, the lens will slowly
take on the shape of the former. Very important not to put too much pressure on the corners because you will you'll round the corners off and you'll end up with little gaps when you put the lens into the frame. When you do the, uh, the straight parts of the lens, the, the longer edges of the lens, if you like, you can apply a bit more pressure, but just go gently around the corners. That way you keep the shape as it should be. You can see now that the, the lens is looking very similar to the former. And with practice, you can do this quite quickly, depending on the, the power of the lens. The thicker lenses do obviously take longer, but um, we're getting a very nice edge on the lens now. So we've got a very nice clean edge on that lens, which is what we want. What we have to do is that when we are cutting the lens, we have to make sure that the, uh, the lens clamp screw, which is um, this end, that is kept tight. So that's why um, it's good to hold that screw to make sure that it doesn't work loose. If it works loose, you'll find the lens will slip and it will affect the shape of the, the, shape of the lens. I think you're nearly there now. Are you happy? We're just tidying up this straight bit. Sometimes these little end pieces need a little bit of care, but we mustn't round off the uh, corners. So that looks good. Okay, I think that's fine. Okay, we're now going to stop. We're now going to stop the uh, machine. takes a while to slow down and we can undo the lens now. We'll take the lens out. So while you unscrew the clamp, you can hold the lens with your hand, stop it falling off and then ending up being damaged on the wheels. So you just got to make sure you take it out carefully. And there we have a nicely cut lens, which looks like the frame. Great. So we have the, the right lens, which is now cut to the right shape. So it's a nice shape. The lens itself is slightly bigger than required at this stage because we've got to now put the bevel on. And the putting the bevel on is the hardest thing to do. So we need, um, the, we need one of these to help us take the lens off. Okay. You can see there the, the line, which is the axis of the lens, which is pretty good. It's quite nice and uh, horizontal. And um, so we're now going to use the machine to put the bevel on, and we need to do it on this wheel. This is a special wheel, which has got a, a, a type of bevel that helps us to control the position of the lens while it's cutting the bevel. So it's, got a, it's called a feathered wheel. It's got a slightly, um, slightly different shape bevel than a lot of machines have but it's very good when you're doing it manually. So, oh, <laughs> didn't have to do anything. Okay, that worked as it is. So again, you want a nice amount of water. Very important to do it in nice, smooth. One, careful on the corner. Another one, careful on the corner. Another one, careful on the corner, 
very easy to round off the corners and then you, you lose the shape. So you just keep going. And then we just check that the bevel is happening. And it's beginning to put a little point all the way around. I need to do more there. That side's good. So it's really this, this edge here that I like to do a bit more. Keep it nice and straight. And that's, the bevel is now there. So that is really good. We're just going to check and see if it fits the frame. And it fits very nicely. So that's one lens done. You can see it didn't take very long, but it's a machine that needs lots of practice. And, uh, you know, but it, it's done the job, so that's great. Okay. Former around. So we've got to have that end facing the other direction or else you end up cutting the left lens in the shape of the right. So we have to turn that round. And so now Shakespeare is going to, you need to put the um, that way round on there. So the end is at the top. Always make sure that the end is towards the top of the shape. That's good. Okay. And then you turn it that way that's it that's it hold that you can tighten up the screw if it helps or you can do it this way that's fine so we've got the end you can see the end it's on the top and it's but it's facing away from the operator okay and then we tighten up the the grub screw that means that we can turn the lens in both directions without it unscrewing okay and then Shakespeare's going to put the lens into. Now make sure that, sorry, make sure that the end of the lens is facing the same direction. Put the lens in now, and you can see the the end on the former is there, and we can see the end on the lens is is here. So it's very good when you're cutting the lens to keep an eye on this as well. So you're looking at the former as well as the... Uh so nice steady hand. And with practice you'll get quicker and quicker. That feels good. Okay, we're there. 